Hi, I'm Monte Carter with Zdeploy. We're doing a three-part series on Windows XP mode for Windows 7. Windows XP mode runs Windows XP as a virtual machine, or VM, and allows you to run your applications that aren't compatible with Windows 7 in an XP virtual machine. In the first segment, we'll learn how to install Windows XP mode. Let's take a look. XP mode isn't packaged with Windows 7, so the first thing we'll need to do is download XP mode and install it. A quick Google search for XP mode will give us the page we need. XP mode is only available on the professional, enterprise, and ultimate editions of Windows 7. Here we're using 32-bit ultimate, so that's what I'll choose. Next, choose your language. Using XP mode requires two components. The first is the XP mode installer. It contains the actual XP VM and related files. We'll go ahead and run it right away and then click through. The default installation folder is usually what you'll want. Next, just click through and let it install. After the XP mode installer is finished, we'll need Windows Virtual PC. This second component controls the actual XP mode VM. It allows us to stop, start, suspend, and configure the XP mode VM. Again, I'll let it run right away. Accept the licensing agreement and let it install. This one actually requires a reboot, so we'll go ahead and reboot now. After the reboot, we'll go ahead and log on and then launch XP mode. Since this is the first time it has been run, there is a quick initialization process which starts out with another licensing agreement. Because using a VM is essentially running a second virtual computer inside of your physical computer, it will need a password like any other computer. I'll go ahead and give it a password and then confirm what I've typed in. Next, it asks for update settings. I would highly recommend allowing automatic updates unless you have a specific reason not to use them. Now, we're going to go ahead and launch our new XPVM. So we don't have to type in the password every time, XP mode remembers the password and automatically logs itself in to XP. And that's all there is to it. XP mode is now installed. Stay tuned for our next two segments in which we'll learn how to install applications in Windows XP mode and how to tweak the settings on your Windows XP mode VM.